Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Tippecanoe, otherwise known as Tip City in Ohio. We are at Heritage Antique Mall. We're gonna get inside, see, no, pardon me, we're not there at all. <laughs> we are at the Midwest Memories Antique Mall. We've been here once before. We're gonna get inside, see what we can't find. Let's do it. Here's a shot of your exterior. We gotta wait to cross the traffic, looking both ways, of course. Safety first. It's a medium-sized mall, but they do have a wide variety of items, which I most certainly appreciate. It's very well organized, very clean. So let's get inside. Here we have some primitives, some little bone china <laughs> puppies, $8. Some scrapbooks, look at this one. Oh, I love that little Scotty dog. Looks like a very 50s ish 40. It's a baby album. 40 is a little rich for us. But still cool to see. I love that. Oh my gosh, this one's cute too. Not as full. This one's at 20. Don't know. Um, e. Cool to see. I mean, look at how beautiful. I love that pink milk glass. Our little tea diffuser here. That one's cute. I think this is more of a contemporary piece made to look antique, raw. We do have our bisque. Little wedding couple here, 26, not bad. Oh, some creepy babies. But these look like they're, yeah, composition. We like the bisque, of course. This is cool, a little beaded frame here. Obviously we're missing um, the photo. That's okay, you could replace, that's only 22. It's actually a pretty gosh darn good deal on that. Easily slide a photo in there. The beads are in really good condition. It does look like we're missing some of the border there. So I'm unsure as to that. I'm loving the plate stand, but I don't know if it's for sale or not. I don't see a price tag on it. It looks damaged there at the bottom also. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's horrible, the price, but I'm just concerned about those beads missing, so I'm probably going to go ahead and leave that one behind here, but that's really nice to see. Turn back around, sir. We're actually going to head on down here into this part of the mall. I'm going to go ahead and swing over to this way and see if we can find anything. A um, little bit of the country garden. Hmm. No. Now this vendor has had quite a few things. It looks like it's a little light on inventory. We're kind of set up for a garden party, it looks like. We do have some nesting dolls. That's at 26. Hmm. Let's see what else? Some individual postcards. These are priced individually. Hmm. Hmm. I like buying them in lots. Got some a vintage kites. My goodness, when's the last time I flew a kite? I cannot remember. <laughs> Check out what's over here in the cases. Um, oh, there's a spider brooch. 25 for that one. 42 for the sash. Some cameos, but they're more contemporary. Plastic, colorful glass floral brooch is at 30. Of course, we have some Bakelite here, accessories and jewelry. Mm. Some pretty jewelry caskets, a large one here with the orchid on it. Ooh, it does have its silk 
lining on that one. It's at 40. It's not that bad, especially given the size of it. Oh, look at that tiny little dress. Oh my god, it's adorable. It says, Miss Westgate, Newberry Street out of Boston. It's so tiny. $20. Look at how tiny. It's adorable. I've never tried vintage clothing before. I've got some spun heads here, but they're graduate picks. It's not overly dynamic. Mm. Got some automotive mantiques. Hmm. Is this a scarf? No, it's a vest. It's a wool vest at that. Very collegiate. Hmm. Alright, I don't see anything there. What is this? Some animals in a cage, little banks. The banks are 15, the lion here. Interesting composite material. Vintage rubber lion. Oh, it is rubber. <laughs> Felt like it was pla or, um, paper mache. Ooh, we got some clothing over here. Set up very nicely. Goodness. Well, this booth looks like it's got some funsies in it. Let's see if there's going to be anything we can pick up. We do see a Majolica little fish plate here. That one's at 32. Hmm. A little rich for our blood, but a great unusual subject matter. Speaking of, here's another piece of Mishalika. This one's at 18. I like the color palette in that one. I think it's a little too simple. Some Roseville here with our Freesia. We're at 60. I wonder if it's for just... So it looks like it's just for the pot. Yeah, and 40 for the candlestick. So 100 for this set. Some pink depression glass, some Yandro Ask, um, little silver quest, Fenton pieces here. I like the rose bowl, not sold on the compote. 22. Who's it hand painted by? Can't really make that out. Mm. I'm going to set that one back at 22. Well, somebody has a love for the Majolica. Ooh, these are great. Look at these. Candlesticks. The Griffin. I think it said 40. 40 for the pair. I'm really not mad at that. That is some fantastic subject matter. Looks like there's a little crack there to the tail. Those are beautiful. My goodness. I might need to get those for myself, not gonna lie. Um, look at these little cuties. Oh my goodness. Germany. 22 for a three-piece set. That's not bad. Look, there's more Majolica, even. Hmm. Lots of birds. You know, I think this is actually Brush McCoy. An early piece of Brush McCoy. This was here the last time, and I didn't get it. I'm getting it this time, because that's actually quite valuable at only $12. That's definitely a bargain. Hmm. Um, some stands. Those are 18. Ooh. That's a piece right there. Let's check this one out. 
Holy. Oh. Hmm. Ow. Sculpturally. I'm digging it. Hmm. Oh, she's risque. My goodness, eight dollars German porcelain. I am gonna go ahead and get that. I like it, especially because she's provocative. Little William Shakespeare. What are you, little one? Look at her and the chair. Oh my goodness. Little toothpick. Meeting house antiques. Thirty-five for that. Little Dresden styled ballerinas. I don't know that these are dressed. Oh. A little bit of damage to her lace. I'm liking our Marie Antoinette lady back here. How's her lace? Look at her. Little bit of a hit right there. I love this. So she's got a little florets. She's only 15. I love it. Okay, let's get it. Okay. So, let's look at the ballerina back here. Okay, see? So there's a good bit more of it that's missing. I really like the movement in her. She's only 10. She is, oh, she is a dressed in art. Oh, I love her. And her tutu is fantastic. Oh, yeah, let's get her, too. Well, there definitely were some funsies in here, weren't there? It's an odd little grouping. Look at that. <laughs> Loving this piece, it looks very Weller. Oh, look at that, it is Weller, a basket. Clearly stamped, oh, I love that. Great look to it. Over here, it looks like we have an early piece of Roseville. That one's at 95, so we're gonna have to leave it, but that's a great example. Um, that's at 50. We'll see what else we can find, guys. Alrighty, so we did pick up a basket to put our treasures in, and now we are on our way to the basement where there are more booze. But there is a little salvage room in here. Oh, they put in some shelves since the last time that we were here. I am gonna check it out just in case. Mm, not that I know a whole lot about salvage but I still know something cool when I see it so handles and tools mm. some duck decoys all right and then we have like lamp parts automotive parts some vintage electronics hmm I don't really see anything for us. And there's a big old piece of Majolica. And it looks maybe a little bit more contemporary. There is a luster to it. $12.99. Wondering if that isn't the hobbyist piece. That might be. Alrighty, here we go down <laughs> the basement. Let's see what we can't find down here. Now, in past experiences, it does tend to be a little bit more contemporary um, so far as the item selection, but I still have picked up a few things down here, so we're going to go ahead, check it out, see what we can't find. Well, truthfully, I didn't find anything down here in the basement. That's okay. We still gave it the old college try. Um, while there were some vintage things, they were just kind of sprinkled in throughout and I just didn't see anything that I thought was really like, wow, or anything I wanted to pick up for resale, but you gotta look, you gotta look. So we're going to go ahead and head back upstairs.
Now, here we are back in the Scotty Dog Lover. Lots of little Scotties. You're going to see them everywhere. And a few other dogs, of course, are sprinkled in. I'm going to set my basket down here. Uh, but you know, the vast majority are, of course, Scotties. We've got a little naughty hound here. He's peeing somewhere. How much is he? 15. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, it's ceramic. I thought it was slide glass out of the corner of my eye. I like that color combination. 20 on that. Oh, look at these sweet... Oh, he's scared. Oh, he's terrified. Hmm. No maker mark, though. It's still a sweet little piece. Only $12, but... I don't know. I don't know who made it. Little Westmoreland Imperial, pardon me. 20 for the toothpick holder. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Van Briggle and Mulberry. Pretty. I mean, okay. <laughs> There's some pink Fenton milk glass. 85. Darn. Rookwood. What's in here? Eh. This is a great color combination. Rare Elizabeth Sherbert. No discounts. Is it 50 each or 50 for all of them? This is interesting. What's, oh, this I think is Victorian. And it's a side pouch that would be worn on the exterior of the dress. 95. Hmm. Wheel. Storybook. 20. Hmm. A little chenille, a baby blanket. Okay. So, cool stuff, but just nothing in our budget right now. That cat is glorious. I hope. Now, I see it says Mexico. Look at the colors on that. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. It's $20. I'm totally kidding. Is it damaged? <laughs> it's a red wear. Definitely is crazy. It's nice vintage. Look at the colors. How vibrant. It needs a little cleaning. I'm up for the challenge. What? That is amazing. We're going to go ahead and get this cat for just $20 because it's so cool. Now, I saw her. She's a little spooky, and that's why I like her. Six dollars, lady in green. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, okay. Look at these two little weirdos. I'm not as in love. I'm not as in love. But let's get this one for six dollars. I don't know what it is. It's those eyes. She's peering into your soul. Okay, so same vendor. Look at this little piggy. He is, I think, eight, eight dollars. Oh, I love it. He is quite the character. It is so kitschy. Really good condition too. So eight dollars. We're gonna add that to the basket. Now this booth looks like it could have some possibilities, and I do see a lot of children's books over here, which is what really caught my attention. But I will go ahead and start. Over here, I'm not overly wowed by anything, but I will say it's a great color story. Uh, very popular, the pastels right now. A little bit more traditional. Not mad at it. Some framed art. Ooh, I like that one. 
probably a more contemporary piece, but there's still something really pretty about it. It's $7. Oh gosh, Michael. It's a very thin glass. But still, I like it. Do you like it? I like it. It's like an Empoli style, but hand paint. I'm going to get it. It's a $7. There's some babies in here, eh, eh, nine fifty. that's a good deal though. Oh, a Bunnykin's Bank. Ah, Royal Dalton Bunnykin's, that's adorable. Here I do see the advertising fans. This one's priced at 15 I do love the graphic, it's obviously missing. Well, I think it's missing. It's handle. It might not be, but it's a little spundy for me, but that's a great condition. Um, we not knock anything over. We've got some lions. More figurines. Kind of want to check out. Ooh. Barely get my foot in here. These ones back here. Frank in the woods. That one's two rows down. Andy finds was already Baldwin. These over here are a little bit more of what we're looking for. Textbook of art education. Oh. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, that was unexpected. Little pencil marks. Rude. Hmm. Some fo oh, I saw Halloween. Definitely needs an eraser. 1904. $2.50. Little rough, but at $2.50, we'll get it. These are Story Hour Readers Revised. Three fifty. dollars Some pages seem to be missing. Hmm. More that monochromatic. Ooh, not in love. More ripping. What do we have over here? Book two, Adeline Readers. Oh, what is that? Is there an egg back there? Oh, it's Mr. Cole and Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay. Blech. Hmm. How much is it? Condition's pretty good overall. 1918, 350. I'll get it for 350. Why not? I'm feeling daring. So we put those back. Did I? No, it was this. Oh, it was the eighth reader I didn't. Oh, this looks pretty shaken. Oh, this is for more like mature readers. Boring. Nah, we'll, we'll leave that one. Okay, looking through here, we're like 40s, 50s, vintage for sure. Stuck with luck. Dory and the Blue Witch. Hmm. Blah. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> Rude. Mm -hmm. Contemporary Uncle Wiggly. Whoa, look at that. It's huge. Is it in black? Oh, it's pretty tattered here, I think. 500 stories. Ooh, somebody colored it in. $3, though. Um, oh, yeah, there's definitely some coloring. Some art skills are in this one, y'all. Uh, meh. Meh, meh. Big golden book. I'm just not in love with it. E.T., The Wizard of Oz. Hmm. the Souls. Oh, gosh. Um. Okay, so it looks like we're just going to go with these two. Oops, with these two then. Now, look at all these brooches here. So, we've got some, obviously, some enamel pins here that... 
black and white one's kind of pretty. It's not like a high gloss. Which is that one? Nine. This one's interesting. This floral pin right here. Though it does seem that some of the painting is coming off. Hmm. Like the blue with the pink. That one's at 14. So, uh, um, look at that butterfly. It's at 35, though. I don't know how I feel about it. This one looks to be older. Four dollar pin. Very Art Nouveau. Can't really tell without. Okay, hold on. So it is newer, just made to look older. I do like these little daisy ones though. Six. Uh, uh, fair enough, just nothing for us. Is there anything? This is bougier. No, I don't see anything here either. Hey guys, so I did decide to go ahead and make another round just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Something that I did miss was this Dream Pets Lion. He's got a little schmutz on him, but he'll dust up just fine. He's only $6 with his original tag on him. I've never seen... It's a little bit of a pull to the fabric right here. I've never seen this Dream Pet. I think he's really cute. So at $6, I don't think that we can rawr, really go wrong. Now, yes, I did. I'll probably end up keeping it, at least for now, and finding a photo that I can put in there that I really like. I, You know, it's a great deal. And yes, I did decide to go ahead and get these. <sighs> you know, again, it's one of those things where you've never seen it, and there is some wax still on there, but when you've never seen it, and there is just something that is really telling me Michael, don't leave these behind. Um, I have an inkwell with griffins on there and a brass incense burner with some sphinxes. So these will display beautifully with them. And I think maybe some copper colored candles would go pretty on those. And I did find this, which was another bird flower frog. Um, it is unmarked, but it does say made in Japan. It's only $12. I really like the bird ones. I think that it's just a great figural piece and adds a little bit of a dimension. So that is our last minute pickup. So I'm gonna check out and then we'll do the wrap up outside. Well guys, there you have today's shop with me video. Back here, at, I already forgot the name again. Midwest Antique Mall in Tippecanoe, otherwise known as Tip City, Ohio. I am really glad I did decide to go back, especially to get those Griffin candlesticks. There's just something really special about them. I, you know, I was just like, oh, $40 for candlesticks. But you know, you look at the subject matter and there's just something in my gut that's telling me, Michael, don't leave those behind. Alrighty guys, as always down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had the most picked up. Either works and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.